Oh, good morning. Let's review. It's the day after, and I am being lazy AF on the Terrace of Love. Ah, okay, here's a review. I'm gonna do a, a video right now of uh, clips from yesterday. Yesterday was the annual Easter Bonnet competition for Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. If you haven't been paying attention to what that is, what's wrong with you? Uh, we've been doing this for 33 years. It, it, it ends a six week collecting period where all the Broadway shows, off Broadway shows, national tours, equity involved shows, collect money for Broadway Cares, which is a global force of helping not only with AIDS services, but with women's health issues, with sending money down to Puerto Rico after a hurricane. Uh, if there's a need, Broadway Cares sends money. And uh, we all get together and do six weeks of curtain speeches and collecting and things like last season when Glenn Close sold, auctioned off her eyelashes, uh, her false eyelashes after every performance of Sunset Boulevard and Hugh Jackman once sold a tank top off his back every night and boy did that raise money. Uh, so, and then we get together, do this big show where we reveal all the totals of who raised what and won for their fundraising efforts. Uh, ending with, you can do a three minute skit ending with a hat on someone's head, whatever you want that to be. So if you haven't been watching, I've been building the hat for Be More Chill, the bonnet. Uh, that was the 16th bonnet I've built. Uh, I've been doing this for years and years. I also this year wrote uh, the opening number in a collaboration with the brilliant James Kinney. James Kinney, remember this name, he's a brilliant choreographer. Uh, we did the opening number last year where we kind of told the origin story of the bonnet. Go check it out. Find it on the YouTubes. Uh, Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS Easter Bonnet Opening 2018. But this year we did a bird's eye view of inside of an acting, inside of a theater company, what it's like for six weeks of signing posters and signing playbills and collecting money and collecting money. And it's, it's a grind after doing the show every night to then have to do the fundraising, but we do it. And then we do the big show to celebrate what we've all done together. So our opening number this year was that story. Uh, and it featured Paige Davis of Trading Spaces. Uh, she was our leading lady. I had a cameo in it as the guy that builds the bonnet because everybody, every show one year has that the person that builds the bonnet and it's usually me. So I got to play myself in my skit. My dear friend John Salvatore, comedy genius, played our stage manager character and the rest of the story was told through dance. So the video clips that are gonna follow this are just getting ready to do that opening number one last time yesterday for the big event. Uh, and then also the finale where I, after doing that event, I ran around and later in the show put our Be More Chill bonnet on Talia, who was our bonnet model, and got their skit onto the stage. And then uh, the big finale where the totals are revealed and uh, all that fun stuff. Oh, Lin-Manuel Miranda showed up just to, uh, be there to reveal the totals at the end and take a picture with my bonnet model because he's a sweet angel of a guy. I hung out with Stephanie J. Block for a minute yesterday, dear person who knows me and loves me, Chris Sieber. I mean, Broadway royalty people, these are my pals, people that are my colleagues and friends, and it was such a celebration of community. And uh, prizes are awarded, best bonnet award is awarded. We were hoping to go for a win because we had a killer bonnet that I did. Uh, and uh, you're about to see too many video clips of what follows, and God, this is long and boring, and if you have insomnia watch this before bedtime that'll put you right out okay bye watch the rest bye okay standing by we're in the wing we should start this opening number of the bonnet now oh, ted is up on the monitor oh, yes. getting ready to conduct shake that stick ted the kids are on the stage ready to go i'm in i'm in the stage left wing excited 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 easter bonnet 33 opening number Let's do this. Yeah! Oh, by the way, did I tell you that she lights up and blows confetti chunks? Thanks to our electrics department down in the basement of the Lyceum Theater. Yeah, she lights up and blows confetti chunks. Go on, girl. It's the finale of the show, and there's time. And her on the rake. The curtain's going up, and three, two, one, and up. Easter Bonnet 33 is in the books. Hmm. Okay, it's over. The bonnet is back at the theater. It did not win Best Bonnet Design. Uh, and that's fine. Spread the wealth. I've won Best Bonnet Design twice before. I wrote and was in the opening number also. 
what I got to do was that this year, and I got to bring my beloved Easter bonnet event to the company of Be More Chill, which means so much to me to get them involved and, and have them experience that joy that I get to experience as a community every year. So there's the prize right there. I don't need another prize. As I said to Katie, my shelves are full enough. So whew, she's back at the theater where she will live until closing, at which point I will break her into a million parts and throw her in a dumpster. And I gotta start thinking about what I'm gonna build for next year. So uh, meanwhile, Time to go have a piece of pizza with the creative team as a thank you before I start an eight show week back to work and start learning my lines because tomorrow I start rehearsing my uh, solo show again. Prince Charming, you're late. People, I got stuff to do. Bonnet's over. Gotta move on. Yay, bye. <laughs>